Hi, I'm Bob Welds, and this is how to read a metric ruler. Metric rulers are usually made to measure things in centimeters or millimeters. Millimeters are pretty small. One of your fingers is probably between 10 and 20 millimeters wide. If you bundle some millimeters together into a group of 10, they become one centimeter. So a centimeter is 10 times bigger than a millimeter. The nice thing about metric rulers is that they're made to be easy to use. Remember how easy it was to learn your 10 times tables? 10 times 1 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, and so on. The metric system makes everything easier by using multiples of 10. Watch this. Let me measure my index finger. You see that it measures 15 little marks on my ruler. It's labeled 1 here, and there are 5 marks past the 1. My finger is 15 millimeters wide. But if it's easier for me, I can say that it's 1.5 centimeters. You see how easily I went from millimeters to centimeters? I just divided by 10 by sliding the decimal place over, like this. You sure don't need a calculator for that. Just remember that if the answer's in millimeters, it will have a bigger number than it would if it was in centimeters. When you measure with a tiny unit, you have to use lots of them. Since centimeters are bigger than millimeters, you can use fewer of them. Here's another example. If I measure the width of my hand, I can say that it's 8.3 centimeters or 83 millimeters. I can use whatever is convenient for me. Now, let me give you one to try. I'm going to show you a ruler and let you figure out what the measurement is in millimeters, and then later figure out how many centimeters it is. When you see Sparky's pause, pause the video and take as much time as you need. Ready? How many millimeters wide is this whiteboard eraser? Did you say 44 millimeters? You see that you can count by tens to get to 40, and then by ones to get to 4, like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 41, 42, 43, 44. The answer is 44 millimeters. So how many centimeters is this? Pause the video and think about it. Did you say 4.4 centimeters? You could have found the answer by dividing by 10, or by sliding the decimal place over one spot, or you could measure again and count by ones, like this. One, two, three, four, and then use the small marks as 0.1 centimeters each. So 4.1, 4 4.2, 0.3, 0.4, 4.4 centimeters. Now you might have a big old meter stick or a metric measuring tape with you. In that case, you can measure even bigger things. A meter is a group of 100 centimeters or a group of 1,000 millimeters. Well, that's even where the names come from. You see, the metric system was a French invention, and French for 100 is cent, and French for 1,000 is mille. On this tape measure, every 10 centimeters is marked with bigger numerals. If you're measuring in meters, which look like this, you can think of these as parts of a meter. For instance, you can think of 10 centimeters as 0 0.10 meters. 50 centimeters would be 0 0.50 meters. Here, between 10 and 20 would be 0.15 meters. Between 20 and 30 would be 0.25 meters or 25 centimeters. Let's try reading this meter stick. Give your answer in meters even though the answer will be less than one, like 0.4 meters or 0.99 meters. Okay, pause the video and try to figure out this reading in meters. Did you say 0.55 meters? That's right. See how it's a little past half a meter? 0.50 would be exactly one half meter. Now, let's get tricky. How many centimeters is 0.55 meters? Pause the video and try to figure it out. Did you say 55? Great! Don't you just love the metric system? You're not going to like inches and feet after this. Here's one more to make sure you've got it. How many meters is this reading? The answer is 0.81 meters. Do you know how many centimeters this is? Pause the video and think. 
That's right, 81 centimeters. Now, for the final question, just to be sure you've got it. How many millimeters is this? I'll give you a hint in just a second, but first pause the video and think it through. Here's the hint. There are 10 times as many millimeters as there are centimeters. So your answer will be 10 times larger. Okay, here's the answer. There are 810 millimeters in 81 centimeters, or 0.81 meters. It may help to keep in mind that one meter is 100 centimeters, and it's 1,000 millimeters. Well, I hope this helps. I'm Bob Welds, and these are Weld Notes.